in a second, but I want to go back through this other one. This one. Yeah. Looks like... Oh, they're all hatches. Uh, enter lock release code. Oh. Uh, 12? Error. Hmm. This cannot be. This is the ancient super weapon that was in development in Pore. <clears throat> but what is it doing here? It looks complete. Whoa, receive Grobic's strong arm? Whoa. So did it automatically, uh, I probably have to equip it. Or was it a, was it a element? Huh. Did I miss it? Oh, strong arm right there. A secret weapon banned by the Pore army. Oh, and it's a level seven. And I can wipe out. It's not. Graviton never. You passed it. Oh, okay, yeah, I got it. Thanks, Sonata. Yeah, I remember there's a little bit of a delay. Usually with my setup, we've been having some frame issues as well. Um, usually it's about eight to ten seconds, unfortunately. Especially when my internet's been crapping out. So let's get rid of Graviton altogether. I never liked that. So, wow, nice. That is awesome. But yeah, I wonder what this code is then. Code to, whoa! Just zero, zero. I found a recharge. Huh. All right. What's the luck of that? All right, so now I go to level two. Uh... Oh, but my question is, though, if I... I don't think I went through all the doors I wanted to in the main hall. Please present the central lab zone registration card. I don't have it. Or one. All right, let's go to floor one. Okay, perfect. This is where I wanted to go. Oh, well, there is no other place to go. That was... <laughs> the elevator is where I wanted to go. All right, floor two. <clears throat> really worried about the ending of this game. Not that we won't finish it, just the fact that I'm worried about what... Oh, duh, this is 4-2. What enemies lie in store as far as bosses and whatnot. I don't even know what the final boss would be. I guess they keep talking about fate. But this is like the first we've heard of him. Usually in games, you're up against the protagonist that, or, you know, uh, antagonist that, uh, you're kind of encountering the whole game, but we've already got ourselves back, so it's definitely not, you know, the, the evil Kenor or whatever. DNA records are poems and music. A denine and th and th thyme uh, and thymine Guinine and chrysonine, right? Rhythm and melody. I don't know what I'm reading. Perhaps the DNA of ones who make contact with the flame is recomposed by the sound they generate within? I wonder if life forms are just dreaming in an endless flow of music. So we're in the Matrix, is what you're saying? I guess we're in the Matrix. Labos, <clears throat> an extraterrestrial life form that is thought to have fallen from the heavens 65 million years ago. On the timeline that existed before history was changed, Lavos was assumed to have slept deep below the planet's surface, sleeping and consuming the planet's energy up until the day of the destruction of the apocalypse. Uh, there are those who believe that 12,000 years ago, legendary ancient magical civilization known as the Zeal came into contact with Lavos. That faithful encounter is said to have rejected Zeal's disappearance from the surface. 
planted within the space of a single night. However, the very existence of an ancient civilization of zeal has never been proven. So up until this day, this theory cannot be confirmed. Holy cow. On some timeline, Zavos appeared on the surface of the planet in the year 1999. Very specific. And brought the world to ruins. However, a group of young time travelers saw where the planet's history was headed and through their actions rewrote time. This very research facility exists on that new timeline. In a world where thanks to the defeat of Lavos by the Young Adventurers, the apocalypse never happened. The temporal vector where civil human civilization continued to develop unhampered. Holy crap, how much more? All the data on Lavos of the uh, parallel world possibilities have proven to, to be violent, vo violent, volatile with fluctuating and discrepancies. Perhaps at the point of time is necessary er, Nearly impossible to obtain any true information on levels. Okay. Gee, many humans and reptiles. Okay, no, I don't want to read all this. Okay, blah blah blah. We already know the history of everything, so that's fine. Ah, oh, but there was the door. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go through the door. Ah, do I have to wait for this to go away? Jeez. Ooh found a rainbow shell so yeah we have we have a couple of these rainbow things but I, I don't know what to do with them we have two rainbow shells yeah there was that one dude that talked about forging the rainbow stuff and all this but I haven't found like any of those except for just these two There's so many different ways it feels like to play this game with so many different characters and so it's just crazy to think of all the different ways to to play. I know there's a bunch of different endings, I think, depending on how you play and so yeah. Oh, there's another guard over there. These brains? These are all brains. Model of lower animal brain. Control human emotions by using the neutral. Um, then what? Manipula manipulating the nerve transmitters inside their brains. It's possible to control the feelings and even the personalities of humans. Fate uses the re record of fate to connect directly with the brains of humans by contact with the G's. Need the materials dropped by enemies when you beat them with summoning elements. Okay, yeah, it's stuff I probably should have got into a long time ago, but I haven't, and we're at this point in the game, so. To forge the rainbow, rainbow weapons. The rainbow weapons. Is this gonna be worth it? I don't know. Made my choice though, so let's fight him. <clears throat> oh, oh, okay. I was gonna say, where's he? It's not the big police guy. It's just combat. Okay. There goes my internet a little bit again. Sorry about that, guys. Boom! Ooh, nice. Gunner get ya. <laughs> Gunner get ya. Ow, 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 ow. 20. Oh, okay. Never mind. I like their little, uh, the little elemental stuff that they have going on. They, they have some nice play on words. Some nice punny, uh, punny stuff that they do, which, which I like. Uh, nothing to hurt everybody, so let's just do the the rocket fist. Oh, wait, I want to see his new one. Crap, I should have waited and leveled him up a little more. Oh, well. Oh, we may, we may get to do it, because it looks like these guys are going to take a few hits. Nope, nope, he's gone. Hmm. 
HP 1, Garbage 1, Karsh 2. Nice. Alright, and was it worth it? Another Hellbound, which I've barely, like, never used. Alright, let's go up another level. Floor. Hopefully there's another save. If not, I'm going to go back down to level 1 and save. Hopefully. What's waiting for us at the top floor? Ah! What are you guys talking about? Only personnel registered as Arbiter may enter. Are we playing Halo? Every time I hear the word Arbiter, I think Halo. <laughs> The experiment will begin soon. Please please evacuate to your designated positions. We will do the same in the case of an emergency. All right, so I guess they're getting ready to <clears throat> try this time bending thing. I'm guessing that's it. Uh, we better not fight somebody. I haven't saved. Everyone gather around. I should have gone back. Let's see. In the 11th century, a scientist by the name of Luca, and we've heard that before, uh, indicated the possibility of time travel through the use of a time egg, which utilizes miniature black holes. Whether this could actually be possible or not is still the subject of intense debate and no conclusions have been made. According to her theory, by rotating a single point of supergravity, space-time continua can be drawn in, thus making it possible to transform a single point which pulls in everything else into a ring formation. Using this ring as a gate between dimensions, it should be possible to travel back to the f back and forth between various space-time. Well, we, we travel in between worlds, not time. I've heard that the Time Egg already existed during the legendary Ancient Dynasty. We shouldn't have to rely on theories from the ancient civilization that may not have existed. We can do this. But it's been said that the time was altered using the Time Egg. That's just a legend. There isn't any evidence to prove that this Ancient Dynasty ever existed. Ah, internet keeps fluctuating. Uh, this experiment should be starting soon. After we discover an unusual gravitational field in this barren sea of El Nido, we built several artificial islands and established Chronopolis, which is where we are, right? Uh, this was all done to facilitate our top to facilitate our top secret research. Uh, but now our research is about to come to an end. Once the final adjustments are made, the experiment will commence. It's just a matter of time, so everyone should keep up their good work. Chief hasn't returned yet. He hasn't? Then we'll have to hold off until he gets back. Alright. To think the time was not absolute, but elastic. Relative and subjective. There cannot be individual differences caused by changing in time. Perhaps the same people and life forms can even exist in several different space times. An independent time that flows with a will of its own? Ha, huh, what nonsense. Phew, man, there's a lot of dialogue here at the end of the game. <clears throat> Alright, so I want to go save before anything else happens. Okay. I don't want to go through that door yet. So, let's... to be safe. We're not that far away, so let's... Oop, well, I didn't mean to choose floor three, but oh well. Don't want to fight. Oh, crap. I keep hitting it too fast. I'm choosing the wrong floor. I'm just trying to choose it quickly so I don't have to fight. Come on. I can't. Yeah, okay. I can't get to basement one. 
Something interesting is in basement one, I bet. Alright, so we've gone to every door except for the basement and then floor four, so I'm gonna have to come back up. Uh, let's go save. But yeah, I think from how we're going, I think we are going to probably have one more stream then. Unless, I don't know, but Suki, if you're still here, um, <laughs> there's my wife. Everybody say hi. I don't know who's still here, but yeah, Bazuki, if you know, um, kind of like, are we toward the, like the very end? Is this where like the end boss may be? I don't want to spoil anything, but, uh... I'm just trying to figure out stream-wise how we're gonna be doing this. But yeah, I thought you were going to bed. It's 20 till 20 till 10. No, it's 10:40. What the heck? Why are you still up? You still have a good amount of playing time left, so okay. So yeah, tonight won't be the finale then, because I can only go... Man, my internet is just acting up. Um, you just laid down now? Okay, well, get some sleep. Um, yeah, I was thinking maybe, depending on how long we could go, but... Uh, yeah, we'll probably... We'll probably give it a good one more stream next week, so... Just checked out... Uh, I thought I'd check out what you were playing. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, this is where we're at. On the... This here. Magnify. What is this guy talking? Is he gonna talk to us at all? The chief said he was going for a walk. He's probably by the dock somewhere, gazing out to sea. Oh, is that that one guy? Back on floor one. Uh, but we just got a new magnify. Temporarily increases element damage by 1.5. Oh yeah, by all foes and allies. So it's like, what's the point? I don't know. And G shots back. The final, the finale of Cake Cross. See, you really are on a sugar high. Okay, so I can't go. So I'm gonna go back up to go back down. So yeah, I'll say probably a good one. I don't know, maybe two more streams. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I was doing so well. Oh well. That's all right. Wow, 268 for melee attack? Are these guys really that weak? Alright, love you, babe. Get some sleep. What? Um, he's a red in the... Okay. So let's rock him with a... Ice Cold Lance. My melee attacks do more attack than that. I really want to use Grobic's new element thing, but we'll use it here eventually. But, well, we did gain a little bit of HP. That's not bad. I'll take it. <clears throat> I'll take it. So I wonder if I do have to go back to floor one and talk to the, uh... Well, not talk to. Because I don't think I'm actually talking to any of these spirits. I think it's mainly just me 
listening to these lost souls. But the one guy was back on the deck, so I think that may be the one guy we gotta go see. Or listen to, or whatever. One guy out near the uh, thing. <clears throat> Usually does critical damage. Okay, and we did get that. I That is one thing I'm glad I looked into and saw that uh, was recommended you get. We did just, that's actually what we got at the beginning of the stream here. I'm not sure how long you've been with us, but. Time Research Lab, which serves the foundation of the research center, appears out of nowhere, 2300, head up to scientific Balthazar. However, at the peak of the career, he simply vanished. We've continued his work so far. Work is almost complete. Well, it's about time I headed back. The experiment's about to begin. Okay, so that triggered having him go back now. Okay, good. for him to leave the screen. Excuse me. Alright, save again. You got on right after. Okay, yeah, that was one thing that uh, we started, tried to do last night, and uh, we fought the boss, and I got my butt kicked, and then after a little bit of... No, not load. A little bit of playing this morning, and whatnot... I was able to figure out kind of what his pattern is and whatever. So. I was pretty happy about that. <clears throat> so even though it only raised my attack by like two, you're saying it does a good amount of critical damage.